Hello. So how is everybody today? I'm going to move on to the next story in the Bible that goes along with the with the theme of how to get rid of Charlie. And what this has to do with is it's the temptation of Jesus. And he is, Jesus uh, was fully God, fully human. He came to this earth to be an example for us. So I'm going to read in... In uh, Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 through 11. And then Jesus was led up by the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. When someone fasts for 40 days and 40 nights, your body is about to the point to where it's going about to die. So, yes, he was very hungry. So, and the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of Man, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, lest you you strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus said to him again, It is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written... For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, the angels came and were ministering to him. So, this is a huge example. I mean, everything that Jesus did when he came to die on the cross for our sins was an example for us and how to deal with temptation or to deal with what um, things that happen to us while we live on this earth. It's um, the, the devil's quotation is in Psalms chapter 91. And it's a blatant misuse of scripture. And, and the Satan manipulated and misused scripture to try to entice Jesus, which amazes me that he would even try that, to to give him power, as if Satan had any power to give God, because God made Satan, and he um he well that's how he entices people, like with this Charlie thing or any other satanic worship they um, Satan entices people by making the person think that they can command demons that they can they have power over demons that they can tell demons what to do that they can uh, that it's all about them and them having a lot of power and that can be very tempting to some people But you know what? Only God has power over demons and Satan. And no person has any authority to command a demon. And and Satan is the father of lies. So yes, he may, if it's to his advantage, he will make you think that he can control, that you can control them and that you're powerful. If that's what it takes to, to deceive you. 
So I wanted to read also in Psalm 91 where Satan was misusing. And what's amazing is Satan misused scripture, but Jesus came right back with scripture because, of course, he's God. He, he knew scripture and, and he was still count, even though he was fully God, he, he's still counting on his father, God, to, to help him in this and so that's what we should do we should know scripture for ourselves. we should read the bible we should pray we should ask if you're a believer you have the holy spirit that teaches you and you need to know scripture for yourself so that when you are tempted or you are being attacked by satan's lies and temptations you have the scripture and you know when he's telling you a lie and when he's trying to deceive you. So um, here's, I just wanted to read the passage where the sa Satan had tried to misuse it. And then I wanted to read the rest of it because it's really totally cool. <laughs> and it says, this is where Satan was misusing. He said, for you will commit, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. And he was tempting Jesus to, like, saying, hey, let your angels save you if you're really Jesus. And, and, and he also used the verse, and on their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against the stone. And then, um, here's the rest of the story. I'm going to read the rest of the passage. So, here's the rest. It says, you will tread on the lion and the adder and the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot because he holds fast to me in love I will deliver him I will protect him because he knows my name and when he calls to me I will answer him and I will be with him in trouble I will rescue him and honor him and with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. So um, it was God that was that will save you, that will show you salvation, that will um, get you out of trouble. So that is that's that's our example for Jesus when um, God cannot be tempted, but we can, and and it's so easy I mean even a even pastors so-called pastors and people that are in areas of influence could be twisting words around to manipulate and to to deceive and make you think something that really isn't true so the best thing is is to pray ask God for the answers and read your Bible uh, anyway um, I've already tried to do this twice. That's how much I feel attacked. I'm trying to get this video done. That I have been, I had two videos done and deleted them <laughs> accidentally. And then I had all sorts of things come up. Feelings that I hadn't had problems with for a while. That just well, could have plunged me into a depression. Could have made me just... This really made me not in a great mood. Had to really count on God, pray, talk to Him. But you know what? I'm not going to let um, this message stop. I'm not going to. I didn't quit. And I prayed and I read my Bible and I'm making sure that I'm saying all the right things. But I really think that Satan didn't want some people out there to hear this. So... I hope that you all enjoy this beautiful scenery and just, just love you all and have a really good evening or day or whatever it is.